Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor and pleasure uh, to be here today. I'm grateful to the UNEPFI for giving me the opportunity to share with you an experience that I hope would inspire the thought that each and every one can make a difference and can start an industry movement. Uh, could we please start the presentation? Our story starts in 2013, right after the Egyptian Revolution. At that time, Arab Africa International Bank was 10 years down the road trying to instill sustainable finance inside the bank. We reached a point whereby we thought it compelling to share our experience with our peers to trigger an industry movement towards sustainable finance to achieve the sustainable development of the country. At that point, we were focused on the evolution of finance to achieve the evolution of humanity. But then we had to think and reflect and ask ourselves, did our, our economic and financial systems, in essence, improve the quality of humanity? That was our question. Uh, it has been 100 years since our financial systems have relentlessly been pursuing uh, material growth. 30 years since the concept of sustainable development has been launched. Over 20 years, we have been advocating sustainable finance. Uh, let's see how, oh, I don't have the switcher. <laughs> Could you please send the slide, please? Let's visualize this uh, Salvador Dali inspired picture. This is how our world looks like today after 100 years pursuing material growth. We have aging political economic systems, we have a financial crisis, we have economic crisis, we have an environmental crisis, and we have social protests and riots of inequality overtaking the whole world. But the problem is that we tend to see them as isolated crises while in a matter of fact, they're very much interrelated. They are a system crisis. They are a manifestation of a crisis of a value system that interpreted growth in pure material terms. It's a crisis of education. Our economics, finance, and accounting courses in our BAs and MBAs taught us that success lies in profit making and return on equity. They didn't tell us anything about environmental cost or social cost. And then when we get into our banks and assume senior positions, they start telling us, take care of the environment, take care of the society. It's, uh, you have to report, you have to have KPIs. And then it's too late, it's a bit difficult. That's why the development for sustainability lags so much behind the environmental destruction. As of today, we still see politicians doubting the claim of climate change because it's not in our education. So we thought that to have an industry movement, we have to attend the education of young bankers to instill a value system that helps them see the connection between finance, the environment, society, and humanity at large. So we launched Mustadam. It's the first platform for sustainable finance in the MENA region. Uh, Mustadam is focused on capacity building and advocacy. As you see, the logo uh, symbolizes the letter M for Mustadam and the pyramid uh, uh, symbolizing human civilization. And it features earth color, trying to communicate the uh, necessity of having the balance and maturity of understanding interrelationships. Um, as of today, Mustadam succeeded in creating a new generation of young bankers in Egypt, representing 70% of Egyptian banks. Uh, they have been cert certified in sustainable finance and uh, ushered an industry movement that started from the young generation who can see the connection between finance, the environment, and society, and possibly can change the world. I'll show you a small video. I am a part of a lost generation, and I refuse to believe that I can change the world. I realize this may be a shock, but there is no happiness in having or getting, but only in giving is a lie. And being selfish is not a bad thing. I believe in that. 
I have my priorities straight because profit is more important than ethics. I'll tell you this, once upon a time, people had values, but this will not be true in my era. This is a quick fix society. Experts tell me 10 years from now, we will face poverty, hunger, famine, and drought. I don't conceive that I will be living in a country of my own making. In the future, environmental destruction will be the norm. No longer can it be said that my peers and I cared about this earth. It will be evidence that my generation is apathetic and lethargic. It is foolish to presume that there is hope. And all of this would have been true unless you choose to reverse it. There is hope. It is foolish to presume that my generation is apathetic and lethargic. It will be evidence that my peers and I care about this earth. No longer can it be said that environmental destruction will be the norm. In the future, I will be living in a country of my own making. I don't conceive that 10 years from now we will face poverty, hunger, famine and drought. Experts tell me this is a quick fix society. But this will not be true in my era. People had values once upon a time. I'll tell you this, ethics is more important than profit. I have my priorities straight, because I believe that being selfish is not a bad thing, is a lie. And there is no happiness in having or getting, but only in giving. I realize this may be a shock, but I can change the world. I refuse to be a part of a lost generation. So it's education, sustainability education, and we believe we can change the world. Thank you so much.